The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers began construction of the Monongahela River Locks and Dam 4 in 1931. However, the facility commonly known as the Charleroi Locks and Dam replaced another lock and dam in the same general area operating since the late 1800s. The previous lock was located on the other side of the river, downstream from the current location. This aerial view of the river shows both locking facilities. The lock on the north is the old one that was later removed. Remains of the old lock are still in the river today. The Water Resources Development Act of 2022 renamed the 1930s facility to the John P. Murtha Locks and Dam in honor of Congressman Murtha, who represented Pennsylvania's 12th Congressional District and served in the Marine Corps during the Vietnam War. Construction for the Monongahela River Locks and Dam 4 began in 1931. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers began the project by installing a coffer dam, which allowed them to excavate and work in a dry work site, separating the construction area from the river. The project progressed quickly from excavation to construction. As the Pittsburgh district began building the upstream cutoff wall and guide walls and building other concrete walls on site by June, 1931. By July, 1931, the concrete for the river wall was nearly complete and the Pittsburgh district made progress on the middle and land side walls. In less than 10 months, the Pittsburgh district had constructed all three lock walls and moved on to the floor paving and miter sills. The miter sills were designed to seal off the chambers once the miter gates closed against them. The following year, the Pittsburgh district used another set of coffer dams to build the fixed crest dam across the river, working through the summer of 1932. The fixed crest dam was completed by August 1932. Inland navigation began to pass through the newest locks on the Monongahela River by October 1932. The locks and dam at Charleroi maintained their original construction design for more than 30 years. Until 1963, when the Pittsburgh District began a new construction project to transform the dam. Construction began with a new access bridge tower which would later connect to the gated dam piers once the full project was complete. The Pittsburgh District constructed the new gated dam in sections, starting on the Charleroi side of the river, opposite from the locks, by coffer damming the first segment for construction in 1964. By May 1965, the first two of six dam piers were complete. It would take approximately two years until May 1967 for the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers to complete the rest of the dam.
The work converted the fixed crest into a gated dam and raised the upstream pool level six feet. The coffer dams and construction did not cause any major shutdowns to navigation. Since the 1930s, towboats could lock through the chambers with up to six barges of commodities at a time, which is the equivalent to 420 large semi-trucks or 96 railway cars. The locks at Charleroi have supported some of the highest volume of commercial traffic on the entire Monongahela River navigation system. The pools created by these facilities are also popular among recreational boaters. A new phase of construction for Charleroi began in 2004. The Lower Monongahela River project included a plan not only for work at Charleroi, Pennsylvania, but also at Braddock and Elizabeth encompassing a stretch of 30 miles of riverway. The three locks and dam facilities work together as a part of a larger navigation system, operating as the most used locks on the Monongahela River. At Charleroi, the Pittsburgh district designed and constructed a new lock measuring 84 feet wide by 720 feet long. The district used a concrete batch plant on the Charleroi side of the river to produce 165 yards of concrete per hour, surpassing the industry standard of 150 yards per hour needed for the lock construction. Contractors transported the concrete across the river using a conveyor belt system. The project expanded the locking capacity at Charleroi from six to nine barges at once depending on barge sizes. The River Chamber demolition contract began in October 2003, and the new river wall construction began in September 2004. Some of the new river wall construction used in the wet methods, as well as coffer boxes to conduct work in the dry. Both the new middle and river walls were much wider and longer than the previous walls, requiring 250,000 cubic yards of concrete. By October 2021, the Pittsburgh district was finally ready to dewater the new lock to excavate the river bottom and begin building the lock floor. Excavation and demolition inside the new river chamber continued throughout most of 2022. The district used a coffer dam on each end of the lock to seal off the chamber to allow construction in the dry. By May 2023, the chamber floor was complete to include all the operating equipment, the new control tower and control shelters. When the new chamber was refilled with water during the summer of 2023, the Pittsburgh district installed and set the new miter gates in place. Construction for the new lock, including its operating systems and the guide walls that extend beyond the lock, was completed by the end of 2023. In January 2024, the Pittsburgh District began fully integrated system tests on the new navigation chamber to ensure all the components work properly. The first commercial lockage navigated through the new lock on May 10, 2024. The Lower Mon project also includes removing the dam at Elizabeth, forming a continuous 30-mile stretch of navigable waterway. The expanded pool benefits the navigation industry by cutting transportation time through the region in half. Along with the John P. Murtha Locks and Dam, completion of the Lower Mon project 
will return more than $200 million in annual benefits to the region and our nation.